Does that make sense? So that's the force of the rope. Now what about the bucket? The bucket is a constant 10 pounds. It's not ever changing. So the total force I have is really 210 minus 2x. So the work is going to be the integral from where to where. Well, where where is the rope starting? I'm starting with it all let out. So I've, I've lifted zero feet of it. What am I ending it? When I lifted 20 feet of the rope. students wouldn't it basically because just be I have office hours for free and I can't charge you for something I do for free. I guess I should have to go school. I just like I understand how you explain it better than most people. Yeah it's like um, before the exam like I was going through the book section by section and going through every everything. And then I had uh, for section six four I had it it was it was, I think, 5 a.m. by the time I got to that section. But I had it on my flash, I had the video from it on my flash drive when I uploaded it to my computer. So I watched it and it, going through, listening to your lecture there was so much quicker than going through the book and going, working through all the examples. And, you know. Well, I mean, so here's the way I teach, and this is how most teachers teach, is you have all the information in the book, you pick out the stuff that's most important, and you explain it in your own words, the way that you understand it. You know, I mean, it's,